The first-to-know syphilis test provides in-home results in just 15 minutes. Welcome to the instructional video for the first-to-know syphilis test. This video will guide you through the steps to correctly prepare for the test, use the test, and understand the results. Before you start, lay out everything you need for the test. In your kit, you'll find the following. One sealed aluminum pouch containing one first-to-know syphilis test, one instructions for use, one educational guide, two disposable single-use sterile lancets, one alcohol swab, one bandage. Make sure you have a watch or timer ready, as you'll need to time the test results. It's important to watch this video and read the enclosed instructions for use and the educational guide to fully understand the process before you begin. If you wear contacts or glasses, make sure that you are wearing them when you read the result. To prepare for collecting your blood sample, drink a full glass of water to stay hydrated. It's important to get your blood flowing before you begin. Massage your hands under warm water or gently exercise, such as running in place or shaking your hands. If you wash your hands, make sure they are completely dry when you're done. When you are ready to begin, tear open the test pouch at the notch. Place the test cassette on a flat surface. Let's get familiar with the test and locate the sample application zone. This is where you will load the blood sample into the test. This is the fill zone. It is important to fill this part of the test completely. It may take several drops of blood. Before moving forward, let's take a moment to familiarize ourselves with the Lancet, a small device used to collect a tiny blood sample safely and comfortably. If for any reason you don't collect enough blood on the first try or accidentally press the Release tab, don't worry, your kit comes with an extra Lancet for a second attempt. Now, let's get started with the Lancet. Hold the lancet by the flat sides, avoiding the release tab. Twist the gray cap a quarter turn to unlock it. Then twist it five or six more times in the same direction to loosen it. Once unlocked and twisted, gently pull the cap outward to remove it. Be careful not to press the release tab just yet. The lancet is now ready for use. Now sanitize the fingertip you will use for the blood sample by wiping it with the alcohol swab provided. Stand up and gently massage the palm of your hand, starting at the base and moving along the entire length of the finger up to the fingertip. Repeat this three times to help the blood flow. Place the lancet on the side of your fingertip, avoiding the center to reduce sensitivity. This will make the process more comfortable. When you're ready, press the release tab firmly. The lancet will make a quick, gentle prick, and the needle will retract automatically for your safety. Massage the hand three times from the base of the palm to the area of the puncture. Keep massaging the hand until a large, full drop of blood appears. Place the tip of the test to the blood drop in order to collect the sample. Touch one to three drops of blood to the sample application zone until the fill zone is full. If you can, stand up and hang your hand below your arm for better blood flow. If the amount of blood is not enough to completely fill the fill zone, repeat the palm massage to the site of the puncture. Squeeze the base of the fingertip again to form a new drop of blood. Then bring the tip of the device close to load the new drop. The sample fill zone must be completely full. Quickly put on the adhesive bandage provided. After filling the test, tap the opposite end of the test twice on a hard surface. This ensures the blood flows onto the test strip. Then lay the test down on a flat surface. Set a timer for 15 minutes before reading the results. Do not read the results after 30 minutes. An incorrect result may be obtained if the test is read before 15 minutes or after 30 minutes have passed. After 15 minutes, read your test results. Let's go through what a positive, negative, and invalid test looks like. Understanding a positive result. If the control C line and the test T line are visible, the test is positive. This means the test detected antibodies to the syphilis bacteria in your blood sample, indicating you may have syphilis now or may have had it in the past. Any faint, visible pink test T line along with the control C line should still be read as positive. If your test is positive, please contact your doctor, primary care physician, or your local public health authority for confirmation and further evaluation. Understanding a negative result. If the control C line is visible, but the test T line is not visible, the test is negative. 
This means the test did not detect antibodies to the syphilis bacteria in your blood sample. If you still have symptoms, please contact your doctor, primary care physician, or your local public health authority. It's possible you tested too early for antibodies to be detected, and further evaluation may be needed. Understanding an invalid result. There are two situations that result in an invalid test. If the control C line is not visible, regardless of whether the test T line is visible or not, the test is invalid. This means the result cannot be interpreted, and the test did not work properly. If you get an invalid result, please call our toll-free number at 1-844-207-3370 for assistance. For additional information, see Common Questions and Answers in the complete written instructions for use included in the box. Once you have read your results, dispose of all used test components in your household trash. This includes the Lancet, test cassette, and any packaging materials. For more information about syphilis, contact your doctor, primary care physician, or local public health authority. For more information on the First to Know Syphilis Test, visit firsttoknow.com.